my kitchen. So this is what my kitchen looks like. There's a lot of organization that needs to be done. The first thing I'm gonna be doing to transform my kitchen is build a kitchen island because it didn't come with one. And so there's this huge empty space that is just missing something. And today I'm gonna be seeing who wants to come over and build it for me because my Bob the Builder days are over. I feel like every time I attempted to build something on my own in my last apartment, it was a fail. Something would just go wrong. island is now built. I feel like it's the perfect size for me. In the last weeks, I have been ordering a bunch of stuff for my kitchen. All the packages have just been piling up. We're gonna do a little unboxing. So I bought a couple of these little bubble plates. Any mugs or plates that are in this bubble shape, I will spend all my money on. I'm so excited for this. I got myself a Smeg toaster. In my last apartment, I had got the blue Smeg blender. I'm so obsessed with Smeg's appliances. They have the prettiest aesthetic. They look super vintage. This time I decided to get the cream color. Kind of random, but I thought that this red container was so cute. It is a little bigger than I expected. I did get quite a few organizers and like storage containers. I need to take a moment and appreciate the fact that I was sent some of the cutest things from my kitchen. Lapel Club sent me the most adorable cups and spoons and straws. Besides all of the new stuff I unboxed, I also had all of the kitchen stuff from my last apartment still in boxes, and this is me taking everything out. I then proceeded to attempt and organize all of this into my cabinets. No, I'm so sad right now. I just dropped and broke my mug. It was my cute pink one with gingerbreads on it. So today's the day where I finally restock my fridge and go on a much needed grocery shopping trip. My fridge is currently empty. There is literally nothing in there. I've just been eating out and that is so bad. I'm gonna be walking to the grocery store. I had just finished typing up a little grocery list. So let's go. Besides my groceries, I had also received a package from Alani. They sent me a bunch of their energy drinks to restock my fridge, as well as Prime. They also sent me a package, and I'm so excited to try their drinks. Here in this little corner, I wanted to create a little matcha station. I had bought this cute container that I'm gonna use to store my honey in. Progressing with this makeover, I'm making a bigger and bigger mess. I have a whole bunch of dirty dishes that I need to wash. I got this thing, patty thingy, so that I could put my sponges in here. I also ordered a huge box of those rub daddy sponges. I never thought the day would come where I would get excited about sponges. I am ending the night tonight with some tea. I have some sleepy tea. I have been becoming such a tea girl. This is becoming a daily thing where I need my daily tea intake. I feel like I've been missing out just because before I would only really drink tea if I was sick or just not really feeling well or to help me sleep. I feel like it would have been perfect for this video if I had bought myself like a little teapot. I really want one for my new kitchen, but I really want to find a cute, unique looking one. So I'm hoping in an upcoming vlog, I'll go hunting for one. But tonight I actually wanted to take some time to organize some of my drawers. I was really wanting to make a section dedicated to my teas and I wanted to put them on display somehow. So let's just see how it turns out. This is 
now the current state of my kitchen. So I'm gonna organize all of this. When I had gone to the bookstore, I was looking for some cute cookbooks and I feel like none of them really caught my attention. But I did find this little journal that I got so excited about because first of all, look how cute it is. And when you open it, it's just filled with these pages where you can literally write in your own recipes and it's super detailed. I feel like this is perfect since I've been trying to enter my cooking era. Anytime I try a new recipe, I'm literally just gonna write it in here. And then I had also found this book that is called The Mixology of Astrology. You guys have any any good cooking book recommendations, comment them down below because I want to have one on display in my kitchen. I just haven't found the perfect one. So when I first moved in, I kind of just shoved everything into these cabinets under my sink and they're so unorganized. Just look at how messy these are. This one doesn't even open. To get some ice cream, I came to try the Hailey Bieber Sunday. It also came with this little scratcher, and we're gonna taste test this together. For me, it tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry because of the peanut butter and chocolate chips. But I'm super hungry, I still don't feel like cooking, so I also got something from their hot bar. I bought myself more flowers. figure out this table setup. My friend Emily's coming over tonight and we're gonna have a girls night. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, I have the cutest heart cups. We're just gonna be wearing our PJs, cook some pasta, watch some movie, and just vibe. Now that my kitchen is actually put together. It is now time for a kitchen tour. First, we have my little kitchen island. I actually got this from Wayfair. I was trying to find a cute bench to be able to sit on here, and I found this white Sherpa one from Target. I'm so obsessed with my placemats. I got these from Anthropology. I've had these for over a year now. Here, I have my tray for when I eat my breakfast in the morning or make my matcha. I always have flowers on display. I actually got gifted these when I went to a little garden party recently with Fat Fit Fun. Over here, I put a basket of fruits, which I actually got off of Amazon. To the left side of my kitchen island. I put my cooking books that I showed you earlier on display. I have some paper towels for easy access, a basket full of these like hand towels, which are all from Target. I decided that I was going to make these drawers like my snack drawers. And so they're not super organized. I kind of just fill these with all of my favorite snacks. At the bottom, I just put all my sponges. Then on this end over here, I have my cute trash can. I originally wanted to get a pink trash can, but I wasn't able to find a cute one. So I ended up settling for this cream colored one. See, it matches my kitchen so well. As for my actual kitchen, on my fridge, I stuck these magnets that I got from Korea. I have this cute photo booth pick and my Sony angels on display. Let's check out the fridge organization. At the top, I have all of my energy drinks. In this basket, I kind of just threw in a bunch of veggies and fruit that I kind of just reach for on the daily. I have my eggs, strawberries. Over here, I have all my milk stuff, yogurt. At the bottom, I still have my <laughs> Over here, Magic Mind sent me a bunch of their matcha shots. I feel like I could have made this look cuter, and maybe later I'll redo all of this to look more aesthetically pleasing. In the corner, I have my matcha station, which I'm so excited to use. I have all of my matcha essentials on display, my matcha powder, the whisk, some honey. I have my daily mug, bowl that I use to make my matcha. I have some cute spoons here. My bread container. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this. I'm pretty proud of the way that my cabinets turned out. Look at how cute. I'm obsessed with the pink aesthetic going on. Then to the right of my kitchen is where I have my kitchen table. She is such a vibe. It's the exact table setup that I had in my last apartment. I have some coasters that I got from Target and that is it for my kitchen. Okay, bye now.